Getting a new dog or a new puppy, of course, is a really exciting time, but it's very important to do your research. Different breeds are prone to different conditions, as well as having various medical conditions from which they can suffer from. Labradors were bred to retrieve both fishing nets as well as game that was shot down by hunters. Labradors are a very pleasant, highly trainable breed and they're very keen to please and they make very good pets for first time owners. Labradors need lots of love, affection and attention and they look towards their owners for direction and this generally makes them a very good choice for a first time dog owner. And if they're well socialised they're generally very good when meeting strangers. Labrador coats come in solid black, solid yellow and chocolate. They have a short, water resistant coat which makes them generally easy to groom. Apparently yellow Labradors shed a little bit more than black Labradors but perhaps that's just because we see it more. Because Labradors are very eager to please, they are therefore relatively easy to train. But they need lots of mental stimulation and they often enjoy playing interactive games. Labradors love being praised and they respond very well to food treats and this makes them even easier to train. And Labradors respond very well to positive reinforcement which enables them to learn quickly and this is why they're great breeds for assistance dogs. And they're a very energetic breed which means they'll probably need around two hours worth of exercise every single day and this will have to be high stimulation exercise so lots of play, retrieve, run, fetch type activities. Labradors generally live between 12 to 14 years on average. As a breed, they're generally pretty healthy, but as a larger breed, they're more prone to certain joint conditions, especially the elbow and the hips and the knees. So various forms of dysplasia. And this makes them then for prone to secondary arthritis. They're also prone to a few eye conditions, both cataracts, as well as a condition known as progressive retinal atrophy.